For more than a decade, our intention has been to create an iPhone that is all display. A physical object that disappears into the experience. This is iPhone X. Hey everybody and welcome to the video. This is Josh here and today we're talking about the iPhone X. I've been an avid Apple fan and user for a little over a decade now. Went to school for graphic design. I've always loved their products, so take that for what it is. This will be a little bit of a bias review. You know, I've been using this phone for a little bit over a week now, and let me tell you, it has been a joy to use. I don't wanna show you guys the whole unboxing, but I did record the only thing that matters, the most important. You're welcome. So the first thing I wanted to dive into, and that is the new design. You know, I came from the iPhone 7 Plus, so I'm used to the bigger form factor. Uh, this is a lot closer in feel to the regular 6, 7, and 8 lineup than it is the Plus lineup, which I like. You kind of get the best of both worlds. You know, I have that smaller, more handheld form factor, but I do have the bigger screen that the Plus line used to have. So going almost entirely edge to edge on the new display, um, with the exception of the notch. I know there's been a lot of hate out there for the notch. I love that picture of MKBHD with the, uh, the notch haircut. Let me tell you, I, I never really had a problem with it to begin with, and especially now after using it for a little over a week, it's not something that I even am thinking about anymore. You know, I would much rather have that little notch there than have a bigger bezel. And with that edge-to-edge -edge display comes a brand new OLED screen. This thing looks leaps and bounds better than the iPhone 7 Plus. One little gripe I do have though, the aspect ratio is a little bit goofy on this compared to what I'm used to. I noticed it a lot more in the first couple of days. Now it hasn't been as much of a problem, but the phone is a lot taller and skinnier than I pictured. What that means though for video, uh, you know, a lot of us are watching YouTube videos and a lot of common video that we watch, unless it has that letterbox bar, is going to also be in a 16 by nine. Unless you wanna zoom and crop in, you're going to have bezels on either side. So I feel like the bigger display isn't utilized quite as well because that aspect ratio is stretched out so much. Uh, really, really great for navigating the phone, really great for web browsing, really great for everything else but watching video. It does also use a new technology called True Tone. It will adjust the white balance of the screen to try and best match and accurately represent the colors in whatever your environment you're in. Apple has also decided to go with an entirely glass body on this phone. Uh, now, I am someone that has been caseless for the last couple of years, and uh, this does have me a little bit concerned. As I see more and more of the drop tests coming in, I'm pretty much certain if I drop this phone, it's going to break. I use Apple Care. They've always taken care of my other devices in the past. Even when I was outside of that warranty time frame, after getting the Apple Care, it's $29 for a screen replacement. That's cheaper than half the cases on the market, but that's something to keep in mind. If you don't get a good strong case, if you drop it, most likely it will break. All right, so the next big change I wanna talk about is Face ID. Apple has gotten rid of the fingerprint sensor and the Touch ID system in favor of Face ID. It uses a combination of different cameras in that front little notch, and it scans your face and allows you to unlock your phone. But honestly, I've been using Face ID for a little over a week now on this phone, and I do not miss Touch ID to the slightest. Uh, the Face ID works quicker and better and easier, in my opinion. You know, I just look at the phone, it unlocks. There's not really any delay. I'd say about one out of 10 times, it'll have a slight hiccup. You can see I have to load. But in general, it's loaded and ready before I even am ready for it. And with this new front-facing camera system comes an emojis. It can track your face and you can send video messages to anyone you know. So overall, the new Face ID system has been excellent. I'm glad it seems like they're going to be implementing it into all of the other phones in the future years to come. All right, next up, I wanted to talk about the camera in these new phones. It uses a two camera system on the back. One is a wide angle lens, another is a telephoto lens. 
They actually share the same sensor that's in the iPhone 8, but have a little bit different glass. The wide angle is an f1.8 aperture and the telephoto lens is an f2.4 aperture. Both lenses are optically stabilized, so it's gonna help reduce that camera shake. In previous years and on the iPhone 8, it's only on the wider angle lens. In the iPhone 10, it is on both lenses. This is huge for someone like me. You know, I use my phone as a professional video device. You know, I shoot some of my videos. This is my B camera quite often. So having that stabilized telephoto lens is gonna be huge for me. Between the better camera and the new display, the photos I've been getting out of this thing look amazing. You know, it shoots 4K video at 60 frames a second, which is hard to find in even higher end DSLRs for video. And this was the biggest improvement in camera I've noticed in the last few generations of iPhone. The dynamic range is great. It's super sharp, super clear, and uh, I'm really looking forward to using this for the channel going forward. One other new feature that Apple has added is wireless charging. So we no longer have to plug in our phones to charge them. I believe that was the main reason why they decided to go with the glass back on the phone. Now this feature is kind of cool on paper, but something I never really thought about because I didn't have a wireless enabled phone previously. You know, if you're charging your phone, you're not able to use your phone. The second you pick it up off the charging pad, you know, you can't charge it. So I've been finding myself the last few days still plugging it in versus using my wireless charger. So if I'm sitting at my desk, I wanna be able to use my phone while it charges and that's something that can't really happen right now with wireless charging. You know, I, I was able to find on Amazon a really reasonably priced wireless charger. I think it was $12 when I picked it up. I've had that on my desk, I've been using it. I'm still trying to learn its place in my life. I don't know if I wanna keep it at work or at home or at my bedside. Depending on your lifestyle, if you have an office job or something where you will be picking up and using your phone a lot throughout the day, you're not going to be able to use it and charge it simultaneously unless you plug it in the good old fashioned way. All right, and I know I'm not talking really heavy on specs here, but I wanted to mention the overall performance. This thing has been blazing fast. I had a lot of issues when I updated iOS 11 on my older iPhone 7 Plus before getting this, um, but since getting this, it is really optimized very, very well with iOS 11. This thing is super snappy and fast and responsive. The animations look great feels great to use um, all in all zero zero complaints on the overall performance so those are all my thoughts on the new iphone 10. i know i haven't done a tech review on here before uh, let me know what you thought down below i'd love to make reviews a more regular thing on the channel i think the tools that i use and keep in my life are very important to me so maybe that would be of interest to you guys also but be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it and leave me a comment down below do you already have the new iphone 10 are you planning on getting one do you have an android phone i'd love to get that discussion going and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more I put out new videos every monday and friday but until next time i will talk to you all later have a good one